infamous B200 error on my Canon printer, and I have been researching for two days how to fix this. So you'll see that I'm in the middle of things and it's not clear. I'm assuming you came to this, this after you've looked at a lot of other videos. So I'm just going to start where I was because I didn't know anything a couple of days ago. So this is the print head. And again, I'm just assuming that you have a little background. If you don't, I'll put some links to get you there. But this goes into this carriage. Now, although this is a Canon MP620, turns out Canon didn't really change the design very much. Do you have a light? So um, this will be true for many Canon printers that, that you'll recognize. So let me take this out again. This is something that either fails electronically, it's got some pins, it's got some jets, this is for the black, this is for all the colors, and it's got these ports where the, the ink cartridges sit. Either fails, you can't do anything, or you can clean it. So there's a lot of videos that say that you can clean it by putting a little distilled water on it, a little tap water, a little warm water, jiggle it a little bit. One guy uses an ultrasound, which is really good. Um, again, I'll refer you to those other videos. After handling it delicately for about eight cleaning cycles and getting the B200 and getting the B200 and getting the B200, I decided I'm just going to handle this thing. So I immersed it in water. I jiggled it around. I don't have an ultrasound cleaner. Ink came flying out into the water. I cleared it a bunch of times. And then when I thought it was completely clean, I did something that nobody else did, which is why I want to make this video because it's a, it's my little contribution is I used, um, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And I thought, well, I'll clean the contacts, and while I'm at it, I'm just going to dunk this in a, in a you know, an, in a half an inch of isopropyl alcohol. And a whole bunch more ink came out, and in my case, a lot more of the teal color came out. So I'm assuming the last cartridge I put in, none of them are OEM, but it was teal, had some clog or some dirt in it, and maybe, we don't know yet, we haven't tried this, maybe that was giving the error message to this machine. With the B200 error, you don't know, not supported by Canon, could be paper jam feed, could be something to do with the purge head, which is in here. I did a lot of reading about the purge head, I didn't know where it was, and then I finally learned that it's this little, little piece here. I don't know, I probably blocked it, but it's that little pad in this corner, that's the purge head. Um, it turns out that, you know, it may have been this, the B200 error doesn't tell you, but it may have been this teal thing, or it may not have been. So now I'm putting this print uh, head back in, and now I'm going to put the inks in, uh, and uh, we'll be back in a second. Okay, so putting together, that didn't work, putting together uh, things that I've read online, these are the connectors to the, to the uh, electronics of the machine. And someone else put out a video, see this top row, which has 13 connections in it, where you can block a certain number of connectors, presumably which prevents the B200 error from being read if it's being read incorrectly. So the one that I'm going to try, the first one that was recommended was pin 11 and 12. And how you block them, look over here, is I cut a bunch of little uh, squares of paper tape and sometimes this takes two hands, but you simply place the tape over the pins. Very nice. And uh, those are now blocked. So any electrical information that this is going to send to the machine is going to be null. So now we're going to put this in again. It's the same one that just failed. And oh, all the cartridges. I have taken these things in and out 5,000 times. All right, and it's boring. All right, magenta. And they're all fine. You can see that they have ink in them. You don't want any dry cartridges. Uh, get it in. Okay, the gray bar snaps down. We're done. Uh, this was in, at the end of a cycle, so I'm going to power it off. Power off. Yeah, there's another trick I learned. You always want to do this with the cover open because it starts going through the process and gives you a little control and insight through messages here and what's going on. And this is the reset button. In other, in earlier um, incantations of this machine, it's, it's called reset. In this one, it's called stop, but it's reset. So what you want to do is you want to hit the on and the stop slash reset button simultaneously. And then once it starts, you let go 
and you hold the reset button for a minimum of five seconds. This is allowing internal diagnostics to take place, things to be cleared, uh, and re resetting however the Canon um, engineers designed the reset button to do, it's doing it. So I estimate five seconds and then I add an incantation of time. I am going to let it go. Meanwhile, this thing is doing its little dance down here, letting it go. That had to be five seconds. It's testing the rollers, doing all the same things. It would be so nice if the Canon manual had more information. What did the pins do? What commands are, there are being sent? Uh, how do you clean the purge head without taking the whole thing apart? How do you take this thing apart? How do you open it any further so you can see how you look at the paper path? It's all very, very hard to get to. Cover it open. Close the cover. Fingers are crossed. This will be a great video if I never get past the error message. Okay. Give it a... Ah! Okay. We're going to try something else. Thank you. Hi everyone. So I want to finish up this video. I had to play with a lot of different configurations of covering um, these pinouts. So here's the configuration that worked. I want to let you know that I tried every combination. Oh, I'm sorry. I tried every combination of the top row. This is, of course, the last one I tried. This one works. It got rid of the dreaded B200 error. My printer now is functional. Uh, if you give me a minute, I uh, will reboot it, although that's a little boring to watch. Um, and uh, the only issue is that this printer no longer prints in color. So it really depends on how, what you need your printer for, how committed you are to fooling around with it. Not everyone's um, configuration of, of, uh, of pin blockages here will result in this not printing in color but probably a lot of them will because what these pinouts control is each individual ink cartridge and uh, how they receive commands and how they respond to commands. So it's gonna depend on what's wrong. And as we have established already, and, and many of you know, the B200 error is just not a very informative error. So I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna turn this off for a second because it's really boring to watch this thing reboot a million times. Uh, and then let you see that it's working, which is a very good outcome in my case. Your mileage may vary. Okay, so check this out one more time. But again, play with covering all the pins. I did it all in pairs of two because pins usually work in pairs. And, you know, if that doesn't work, try one. And if that doesn't work, buy a new printer. I'm not saying that this should be something that you devote the rest of your life to. But it's certainly worth an afternoon. Uh, it lets you know your printer a little better, and it's kind of fun if you enjoy this kind of thing. So this worked. Again, give me a second, and then I'll show you how my printer is working. So I put the print cartridge that you just saw in my hand back in. Please note it doesn't actually snap in. I put it back in. I snapped in the ink cartridges. There's the gray bar that we mentioned earlier that snaps down. And then I uh, closed the cover of the machine and turned it off. So it went through its cycle and then I turned it off. So now I am turning it back on and we will go through the startup cycle. And there it goes. No error, no B200, printer's working, ready to copy. So uh, this was my solution. It had to do with covering a couple of the pins as I just showed you, good luck. Uh, with playing around with your Canon MP620 and uh, hope that you get yours working as I did mine. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this video.